Welcome to the lecture on the course Descriptive Statistics with R Software. You may recall that in the last two lectures uh, we had uh, uh, discussed the concept of correlation coefficient and we learned that how to compute it in the R software. So, you may recall that when we started the discussion on the topic of association of two variables, uh, we had discussed three possible situations where we would like to measure the degree of association. First was when the variables are continuous and the data is collected on some continuous scale. Second situation is where the data is collected as ranks. That means the observations are obtained and they are converted into the ranks and uh, then we need to find out the correlation coefficient. And the third one is where the data is uh, say categorical, where you try to count the number or the frequency. So, in this lecture we are going to consider the, now the second case, where the data is obtained as ranks of the observations. Now, first question comes, where such situations can occur? Although I had explained you in the early lecture, but I will take a quick review. Suppose there is some fashion show that is going on and suppose a model comes on the stage and suppose there are two persons who are looking at the performance and they are giving some scores. Now, what do you expect? You expect that in case if the performance is good, then both the judges should give some higher score. And in case if the performance is bad, then you expect that both the judges should give lower scores. Now, in practice it is very difficult that the judges are giving exactly the same scores. Suppose the scores are to be given in the say between 0 and 100. It is very difficult that they are giving the same scores. If the person is good, they may give a score of say 80 or say 85. So, now the question is this, how to measure the association between the opinions expressed by those marks by those two judges. What we can do that we can rank the scores of different candidates. Suppose there are 10 candidates. So, those 10 candidates are judged by the two judges. Judge 1 has given some scores to the 10 candidates and just 2 also has given the scores to the 10 candidates. Now, instead of using the scores, we will try to find out the ranks that which of the candidate got the highest rank, which of the candidate got the second highest rank and which of the candidate got the lowest rank. And these ranks will be calculated for both the judges. And then we would like to find out the association and direction of the association between the ranks given by those two judges. And this can be achieved by using the concept of rank correlation coefficient. What do we expect on the basis of what we have learnt in the case of correlation coefficient? If both judges are giving the similar scores or they have the similar opinion. If a person is good, then it is good for, then he or she is good for both. Then the correlation should be positive and it should be say quite strong. And in case if there is an opposite opinion, that means the judges just feel opposite. One judges say it good and say another judges 
judge uh, says bad, then in that case we expect that the collision should be negative and now how close or how strong or say how weak this depends on the magnitude of the collision coefficient. So, you will see that uh, uh, the similar type of concepts will also be there in case of rank collision coefficient as in the case of Pearson's collision coefficient. So, now we discuss our lecture and uh, we will simply assume that here that we have here two variables x and y and uh, and observations on x and y are available right. And after this whatever are the observations they are ranked with respect to x and y and ranks of those n observations are recorded. What does this mean? Suppose if I say in the example which I have given, suppose I say there is a judge 1 and he has given the scores say here 90, 20, say 60 and say here 35. So, this is my observation number 1, observation number 2, observation number 3 and observation number 4. So, these are now essentially the values of x i's. So, this is my here x 1, this is x 2, this is x 3 and this is x 4. Now, what I can say? I will find out the ranks. If you try to order these observations, you can see here that the smallest observation here is 20 that is the smallest observation and after this we have 35, then we have 60 and then we have 90. So, 90 is the largest observation right. So, if you try to give the rank, so the smallest observation will be getting a rank equal to 1 and there are 4 observation. So, the largest observation will be getting a rank 4 and the second largest observation which is here 60, it will be getting rank 3 and the third largest observation it will give here the rank 2. So, you can see here now 1, 2, 3 and here 4, these are the ranks given to these observation. Now, if I try to write down here the ranks, what is the rank of this here x 1 which is having the value 90, this is here rank is 4 in which is written in red color. Now, second observation is here x 2 equal to 20, what is the rank of this observation 20? This is here 1 you can see here and this I can write down here 1. Similarly, how this 4 was coming? 4 was coming from here and next if you try to see x 3, the value of x 3 is 60 and what is its rank? This rank here is 3. So, this comes over here and I write here this 3 and similarly here x 4 is equal to here 35 and 35 has got the rank 2. So, this comes here and we write it here 2. So, now you can see here that whatever are the scores given by the judge, they have been converted into the ranks and similarly, there will be a second judge and we will try to convert the scores of judge 2 also in the order of ranks and then we will try to find the correlation coefficient between the two ranks. Now, in case if you think mathematically that how to obtain the value of the correlation coefficient in this case. You may recall that in the case of uh, Pearson correlation coefficient, we have taken this x i and y i to be the values on the continuous scale. Now, the values are here as integers and because they are the ranks 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now, in case if you choose x 1, x 2, x n, 
in the case of Pearson correlation coefficient to be 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n and so on. And similarly, y1, y2, yn also to be the integers 1 to n. Then just computing the correlation coefficient or the Pearson correlation coefficient with the two sets of values 1 to n and 1 to n, you will get the value of the correlation coefficient. And this is the idea that how the expression for the rank correlation coefficient has been obtained. Well, I am not going to give you here the derivation between the two, but uh, definitely I think that you should know it. And this correlation coefficient was given by Spearman. So that is why this is also called as Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So now let us try to continue with our discussion and now we try to understand that, that how are we going to do it. So now we discuss about how to compute the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Now suppose there are n candidates and who participated in a talent competition and suppose there are two judges and these two judges are indicated by x and y and both these judges they judge the performance of n candidates and they try to give the ranks to every participant or they try to give the scores which are finally converted into ranks. So I will say here now we have a situation like this one say judges here x it is trying to give us the scores and there are supposed candidates. So you must know that how this data will look like so that so there are 1, 2 up to here and candidates and judge x gives them the scores x1, x2, xn and then these scores are converted into the ranks. So these ranks are going to be indicated by the numbers say here 1, 2 up to here n and similarly there is another here judge which is here judge y. This judge y also gives the scores as y1, y2 suppose here yn and these scores are once again converted into ranks say 1, 2 up to here n and now we are going to find out the correlation coefficient between the two sets of observation 1 to n. Definitely these numbers 1 to n will not occur in the same sequence. For example, suppose judge X says that in his opinion the best candidate is X2. So he has given the rank X2 to be here, see here N and whereas suppose judge Y has given the rank to X2 see here 3 because he think that he is only at the third order. So you can see here that the person here is the same, same person but he has been given two different, two different ranks and then 3 and this is what we want to find that whether the ranks given by the two judges whether they are similar or they are different or very different. So that is the objective to introduce this correlation coefficient. So now if you see what I am going to do here judge X gives ranks to the N candidates and suppose he says that whosoever is the worst candidate he gives the rank 1. And this rank 1 is given to the candidate who has scored the lowest score and similarly whosoever got the second lowest say score out of this x1, x2, xn he has given the rank 2 and similarly whosoever is the best candidate the one who has got the highest score has been given the rank n and similarly judge y also has given the rank to the same and candidates remember the candidates are same and whatever score 
he has given based on that he has converted the scores into ranks as 1 to n based on the scores y1, y2, yn exactly in the same way as uh, judge has uh, judge x has done it. Now what we have to do that now we understand that every participant has got two ranks which are given by two different judges. What do we expect? We expect from both the judges to give higher ranks to the good candidates and lower ranks to the bad candidates. Now, our objective is this we want to measure the degree of association between the two different judgments through their ranks and we would like to find out the measure of degree of association for these two different sets of rank. Now, the question is how to do it and what will it will indicate. So, in order to measure the degree of agreement between the ranks of two judges or two data set in general, we use the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So, one thing what you have to notice and always keep in mind, we are not using here the original observation, but we are using only their ranks. So, now let me develop or tell you that how do we do it. So, first we try to define here the rank of an observation suppose rank of x i is denote as say here rank of x i mean rank and inside the argument x i. So, how it has been obtained that all the observation x 1, x 2, x n have been ordered and then from there whatever is the numerical value of the rank this has been recorded right. So, as I shown you here if you see here I have shown you that how these ranks have been obtained right. So, exactly in the same way these ranks have been obtained for the data in x and similarly these ranks have been obtained for the data in y and the ranks in y are denoted by simple statement rank of y i. Now, what we do that I try to find out here the rank between x i and y i and we try to find out the difference. We consider the ranks of x i and y i and I try to find out the difference. So, what is the if you try to see what I am doing? I try to take here the i th person and I see what is the rank given by judge x and what is the rank given by judge y and whatever is their difference I try to compute here and I denote it by d i. Now, the expression for the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient denoted as capital R is given by this expression R is equal to 1 minus 6 summation i goes from 1 to n d i square divided by n into n square minus 1 and this R is called as Spearman rank correlation coefficient and this lies between minus 1 and plus 1. One thing which I would like to address here that it uh, does not matter whether the observation have been arranged in ascending order and their ranks are computed. So, what I am trying to say that if rank 1 is given to the worst candidate or to the best candidate it will not change the rank correlation coefficient provided both the judges have used the same criteria if judge x has given the lowest rank to the worst candidate and judge y also has given the lowest rank to the worst candidate and judge x has given the highest rank to the best candidate and same has been followed by the judge y also that he also has given the maximum rank to the best candidate. Then in both the cases if you try to compute the correlation coefficient or the rank correlation coefficient their values will come out to be same. But the only thing is this the ordering has to be the same in both the cases either ascending or descending. So, you give the ranks 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n or you try to give the ranks n, n minus 1, n minus 2 up to here 1 right ok. Now, what is the interpretation of uh, the values of r? So, we have seen that this r will lie between minus 1 and plus 1. So, when I say that r is equal to plus 1, this means that same ranks have been given to all the candidates by the two the judges, exactly the same rank. There are n candidates 
and whatever the ranks have been given by judge X to a particular candidate the same rank is given by the judge Y and this is true for all the candidates. So, in this case both the judges are going to give the exactly the same opinion and that is reflected by R is equal to plus 1. So, here this plus is trying to indicate the direction, direction that both the judges are given the opinion in the same direction or the direction of the opinion of both the judges is the same and one is trying to give us the value of which is indicating the perfect relationship as we have done in the case of simple correlation or the Pearson correlation coefficient. Similarly, in case if the two judges give just opposite ranks to all the candidate that is another extreme that means, uh, whosoever is the best candidate in the opinion of judge X is the worst candidate in the opinion of judge Y. Then in this case the value of rank correlation coefficient will come out to be minus 1. So, this is the case of say perfect relationship once again and this relationship is negative. So, this negative sign is indicating the direction. So, R equal to plus 1 means perfect positive relation and R is equal to minus 1 means perfect negative relation. This is the interpretation and now in case if you try to choose any other value of R between minus 1 and plus 1. Similar to the interpretations of Pearson correlation coefficient, we will have the similar interpretation in the case of rank correlation coefficient. For example, if the correlation coefficient is suppose rank correlation coefficient is 0 0.95, then I would say that okay, both the judges are giving more or less the similar opinion, but definitely if the rank correlation coefficient is suppose 0 0.02, then I would say well, the, the opinions given by the two judges are not dependent on each other, but definitely if the uh, correlation coefficient is suppose minus 0.9 then I would say that well both the judges are uh, giving just the opposite observations and they have got just the different nearly the opposite opinions. Whatever judge X thinks good other judges just thinking opposite of that that is bad and so and vice versa. Now, let me take here an example and I try to show you that how to compute the rank correlation coefficient and then I will show you that how to compute it on the R software. Uh, this is important for me here to show you this minor calculations because many time people try to compute the rank correlation coefficient not on the basis of the ranks, but simply on the basis of the, of the observed values. But here you have to be careful when you are trying to implement the, the concept of rank correlation coefficient. Whenever you are given a data, try to see whether you have been given the original scores or you have been given the ranks. So, if you are given the original scores, then first you need to convert them into ranks and then try to compute the value of rank correlation coefficient. But in case if you have been given the ranks, then you can directly use them and compute the value of correlation coefficient. Right. So, in this example I am trying to consider the scores and we will try to convert them into ranks. Now, I am taking a very simple and a small example so that I can show you the calculation. Suppose there are 5 candidates and they have been judged by 2 judges. Now, the judge 1 has given the score 75 to candidate number 1, 25 to candidate number 2. 35 to candidate number 3, 95 to candidate number 4 and 50 to candidate number 5. And similarly, just 2 has given 70 to candidate number 1, a score of 80 to candidate number 2, a score of 60 to candidate number 3, a score of 30 to candidate number 4 and a score of 40 to candidate number 5. So, you can see here we do not have the ranks. So, first we need to find out the ranks. 
So, first let me find out here the ranks in the case of judge 1. What is the minimum value say among all these values 75, 25, 35, 95 and 50. So, you can see here this value here is 25. So, now I decide that my ordering will be that uh, we will give rank equal to 1 to the candidate having the minimum score. So, this candidate who has got the score 25 which is here this he or she gets the rank 1. Now, once again I try to find out the minimum or maximum whatever operation you want to do among the remaining values. So, I try to take here 75, 35, 95 and 50. So, this comes out to be 35. So, rank of 2 has to be given to a candidate whose score is 35. So, you can see here now this is here the candidate who has been given the rank. Similarly, I try to compute the minimum value out of the remaining value which is 75, 95 and 50 and this comes out to be here 50 and then I try to give rank equal to 3 to the candidate whose score was 50. So, you can see here this I am doing it here. Now, once again I try to find out the minimum value with the remaining values which is here 75 and 95 right and this is comes out to be 75. So, I try to give the rank 4 to the candidate who has got 75 marks. So, you can see here this is here and this candidate has been given the rank 4 and similarly now the value which is the maximum or the value which is left here is the maximum value and maximum value here is 95. So, this will give the maximum rank 5 and the same operation is done on the scores given by just 2. So, you can see here out of this 70, 80, 60, 30 and 40 values the smallest value here is 30 and so this has been given the rank 1. Now, after this try to find out the second largest value, second largest value here is 40. So, this candidate has been given the rank 2. Now, try to obtain the third largest value, third largest value here is 60. So, this candidate has been given the rank 3 and similarly try to obtain the fourth largest value, this is here 70 and this candidate has been given the rank 4 and finally, the maximum score is here by 80 and this candidate has been given the rank 5. Right. Now, I try to find out the difference between the rank of x i and rank of y i. Actually, here I have both the options either I try to consider the rank of x i minus rank of y i or rank of y i minus rank of x i and this will give you the same correlation coefficient y. You can see here in the formula of this rank correlation coefficient here we are using here d i square. So, this sign of d i will not make any difference. So, now if you try to take here the value here I will try to highlight here 4 and here 4 this difference here is 0, this is 4 minus 4. Second value here is try to observe my pen, this is 1 and here 5. So, this is 1 minus 5 is equal to minus 4. Similarly, next value here is 2 and 3, this is 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. Then the fourth value here is 5 minus 1 is here plus 4 and similarly, the difference between 3 and 2 which is 3 minus 2 is here plus 1. Now, after obtaining the value of this uh, d i's I will try to implement them on the expression for the rank correlation coefficient which is given here. So, 
this these di's we have obtained and here the number of observations are here 5 so n is equal to here 5 and this value comes to, to be minus 0 0.7 what is this indicating now you can see here this value here is minus 0 0.7 so this minus is indicating the direction direction of the ranks given by the two judges right so it uh, indicates that both the judges have got say negative opinion and the degree of the association between them is 0 0.7 so this is indicating that uh, both the judges have got say quite different opinion about the candidates who participated right now the next question is how to compute the rank correlation coefficient in the r software computation of uh, Spearman's uh, rank correlation coefficient and the computation of Pearson correlation coefficient they are similar. In our software we use the same command for computing the both. The only difference is that when we try to specify the option method then we have to be careful. If you remember when we discussed the computation of Pearson correlation coefficient in the last lecture, then, uh, then I had given the option say method is equal to Pearson. At that time I also explained to you about the rank correlation. Now I am giving you more explanation that, uh, that we need, uh, simply need to specify the method is equal to Spearman. And then the entire computation procedure and all other uh, commands they will remain the same, they will have the same interpretation. So now let us try to understand it here. So the R command to compute the Spearman rank correlation is the COR and inside the argument you have to give the data vectors here X and Y and uh, in this case there are some other options which have to be used in case if you want to compute the correlation coefficient based on rank that is the rank correlation coefficient. C O R will remain the same, X and Y will remain the same as the data vector. The option of use to use uh, all the data by giving the, the command everything inside the double quotes will remain the same as in the case of Pearson correlation coefficient. The only change will occur here that now the method is going to be Spearman which has to be given inside the double quote with the C command and once you try to do it here then you will get the value of this rank correlation coefficient. So this is about the use that handles the presence of missing value that is, that is the same thing what we discuss in the case of Pearson correlation coefficient. So now I try to take the same example in which I have computed the rank correlation coefficient manually you can see here that the two values are here the same 75 25 35 95 50 in the first case and they are the 75 25 35 95 50 in the first case so similarly the other values are same so i try to give here the data x equal to the scores given by the judge one and y here as the the scores given by the just to remember that I am not giving here the ranks but I am simply giving the scores and our software will automatically convert them into ranks. So I try to name this data for the sake of convenience as a judge 1 the data of given by judge 1 and just to for the data given by second judge and now I try to find out the correlation coefficient between judge 1 and just 2 using the option everything and now my method becomes Spearman and this you can see here that this value comes out to be minus 0 0.7 and this is the same value which you had obtained manually and this is here the screenshot of this operation but I will try to show you the same operation on the R console also. So first I try to copy the data of judge 1 see here judge 1 and the data of here just 2 and then I try to take the command of 
finding out the correlation coefficient using the method Spearman. And you can see here this comes out to be minus 0 0.7. Now, I will stop here and uh, now we have learned that how to compute the, the association when the data is in the form of ranks. So, once again as usual I will request you that you please try to look into books, try to study more about this rank correlation coefficient, try to take some examples and try to execute them on the R software. And you practice it, more you practice more you learn and I will see you in the next lecture where we will discuss about how to find out the or how to measure the association when we have counting variables. Till then, goodbye.